Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to merge databases in Notion while keeping the relations intact. I'm Kim, a Notion consultant at Structure Coach, and on my YouTube channel I'll show you how I use Notion specifically, ideas on how you could use Notion, as well as helpful tips and tricks on how to use some of Notion's lesser known features or beginner tips on how to use Notion at all. Now let's get on with this video. For this example, I created three different databases. They are in German right now, but the principle is exactly the same. I have a task database, a tasks new database and a pro projects database. And the tasks database is related to the projects database. As you can see, I've already pre-filled the task database with some information to show you how exactly to use this um, tip. This can be useful if you want to just move pages from one database to the next, if you want to create a new database and move all your pages in there because you don't want the old database anymore for whatever reason, or if you want to merge two or more databases together. The important thing to note here is that it's very important that the property names are exactly the same. As you can see here, I have for the notes, which is notiz, there's a one and a two. And with the one, there is no space in between the word and the number. And for the two, there is space between the word and the number. And if you look down here, there is spaces between the number and the name for both notes properties. This is to show you the difference. As you can see now, I'm dragging it down here. The tag is um, taken over. The date and the done checkbox are created. They weren't there before. And what was in note 2 was translated as well, because it's the same property name. But what was in note 1 didn't take over. It created a new property. As you can see here, there's the one without uh, with the space, and then there's the one without the space. So now I move it back to show you something else for the tags. Because the tags, whether select or multi-select, have to be the same as well if you want to move them over. For example, I have a private and a work tag here. And in the task new database, I also have a private and a work tag. But a private one is spelled slightly different. As you saw before, the work one was just adopted. It's a different color, but that hardly matters. But the tag itself was there. Now if I move the one with the private tag over, as you can see, there is no tag here because the appropriate tag wasn't found because it's written in a slightly different way so it's not actually there. So now for the relation, to move the relation over without losing all the pages and having to add them manually again, the first thing we have to do is change it to a text property. As you can see now, there um, other pages are still there as links, but they are not there in the project database. But that's not a problem, they will be there later on, so you're not losing them at all. So if you move it over now a page, as you can see, the well, it's not a relation property, the text property with the linked project is there. So now if you want to keep the old database, you just change it back to a relation change it back to the relation to projects. Of course, if you don't want the old database anymore, you can just delete it. As you can see now, the relation is still there and it will show up here. Yes, now it did. As you can see, the name didn't, like, it's not the same name as it was before. You just have to change the name back. But I don't think that's that big of a deal for being able to just move your pages without losing the relations or having to add them manually. So now for the new database, or the second database, depending on how you want to see it, you also have a text property with the linked page and you just move this one or change this one to a relation as well. Now you can see here, the project is related, the relation is intact, and down here a second relation was created for the second database, which also relates the tasks to the projects. 
That's it for today's video. As you can see, merging databases while keeping the relations intact is actually pretty easy and very useful. I hope this video was useful to you and you did like it. If so, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and let me know in the comments on how you're going to use this feature or what other videos you would like to see in the future. Bye!